What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be talking about Diona, the wine industry slayer. Now, if you guys don't know, Genshin Impact, or, you know, on Twitter, the official Twitter page, they just tweet, well, not just tweeted out, but tweeted out Diona, uh, just some information on her, and we do have some more information from the forum and everything like that. They also tweeted out a character demo video or whatever, so we're going to be watching that on, as you know, also. Diana's pretty interesting. Now let's go ahead and get into the video. So let's let's go ahead and get into the video real quick, right here. Diana, bartender at the cat's tail. I charge a hefty fee for private events. My ears and tail are no prop, they're real. Proof of my cat's line bloodline. Life as a mixologist is very busy. When I'm not at the tavern, I'm out collecting ingredients for new recipes, so... So unless something is urgent, don't bother me. I'm a rock! Her trailer kind of, like, uh, this part was kind of cool to me. I don't know. Like, the transition, just how they did it. And then... So... Okay. And I, I wasn't waiting for you. There you go. I just happened to be resting. Okay, so now a couple of things, right? Number one, I thought that she had she was throwing like ice grenades or something in her ultimate. She's throwing a cocktail, right? So uh I know a lot of you guys might not know what a cocktail is. But anyways, it doesn't matter. She's throwing a cocktail, um, which it's a drink, right? Alcoholic drink, whatever. Anyways, that's what she throws in her ultimate, which is pretty interesting. Um, another thing, and I got I to gotta get this out because there's so many people that don't know the difference. And they don't understand. Like, it kind of annoys me when people do it. But listen, number one, Klee is a, is a child. She's a kid. She's not a lolly. Chi-Chi died as a child and then got revived. So that's, that's a kid, not a lolly. Now, Diona who is apparently an adult, and she's a cat, apparently, but, like, that doesn't matter, but she is an adult with a small body, Diona is a lolly, right, she works at a bar, she's a bartender, so I just gotta get that out there, because there's so many people that don't know the difference, they keep calling Chi Chi and Klee the lolly squad, and it's weird, um, it doesn't matter, you're going to jail, no matter who you pick, so, hey, if I see you on Twitch chat, walling out, you're going to jail. We we getting FBI emotes in the chat. But I just, I just had to let y'all know because there's so many people that don't know the difference. Only why I thought of that is because she's talking about she charges a hefty price for private events. Where's she saying? Like right here? Real proof of my cat's line bloodline. Where is it at? I charge a hefty fee for private events. No, sir. No, hey, y'all going to jail. Y'all going to jail. Hey, I'm telling everybody right now. But yeah, so that's the... <laughs> hey, I'm just telling y'all up front. So anyways, that's the um, trailer for Diona. Now, on top of the trailer, we have a whole bunch of information and all of that. They actually put her on the official website as well. We do have her voice actor or voice animation, whatever you call it. So we'll go ahead and, we'll go ahead and listen to that as well. <laughs> She talks a lot. Okay. So anyways, there's that. Now, going on to this... If you guys want to read all of this, you can. I'm not going to read it all, but the beginning says, The incredibly popular bartender of the Cat's ta Tail Tavern, a uh, rising star of Mondstadt's wine industry and the greatest challenger to its traditional powerhouses. Such is Diona's image in the eyes of her clientele. Yet this feisty feline young lady from Springvale prefers to see herself as the wine industry slayer. Uh, that, amb the, that ambition is reflected in her bartending philosophy, I'm going to ruin the taste of alcohol for everyone for good. Uh, but, I mean, 
Y'all can read the rest. But long story short, here's Diona. Uh, moving on, there she has her like abilities, right? So yeah, she has auto attacks right here. And as you can see, she presses her E. Whenever she presses E to Cat Claw, to, it's it's called Kitty Cat Claw, I believe. But two of those hit the enemy. Now she gets a shield, and the shield's duration is based off of how many Kitty Cat Claws hit the enemy. So she auto attacks. And then she presses it. When she presses it, two of them are fired. Down here, you will see she holds it. And when she holds it, she she jumps backwards and shoots five. So the duration of her shield will be a lot longer than the one where she just presses it. Uh, obviously, it'll be on a longer her E will be on a longer cooldown. But there you go. Right here, as you can see, she throws two uh, mixed cocktails or whatever, and she puts down ice right and, and it'll the thing is it keep in every video she's done her ultimate it shows her freezing enemies but a lot of people may not realize that the first video they showed her freezing enemies the enemies were near water like they were kind of in the water uh and in this one it's raining so she doesn't just freeze enemies off rip she only frees them if they're wet like every other ice character in the game but they keep showing it as if it's like that's not really how it works, but I get you. Anyways, um, yeah, so she freezes enemies inside that circle. She also heals any allies in the circle. So this is not, this, her ultimate's not necessarily that good for single player, but for multiplayer, her ultimate becomes very, very good because you can throw that down and it becomes, it's like a Jean ult, except Jean heals everybody, but she heals herself. Now, anyone else, now if you switch to someone else, they'll heal as well, blah, 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 blah. But, yeah, so that is how all of that works there. And like I said, here's the official, you know, post on the, what's it called? The form? There it is. The form. So, yeah, I mean, Diona, she's she's a cool character. I, I think she's cool anyways. You know, she has a shield, so that means you could, if you want, go into the uh, retracing bow lead set, which I made a video about that set the other day or whatever. The retracing bow lead set is just super good when it comes to uh, shield characters you're going to be getting a lot out of it as far as uh, you know if you want to run that set let me go ahead and pull the set up yeah so number one you know two piece increases shield strength by 35 percent always going to be nice and then the four piece while protected by a shield gain an additional 40 percent normal and charged attack damage now this applies to any character any weapon so she's going to be getting increased damage when she's shielded on top of she will get increased shield uh strength now we don't know what her shielding or her ultimate scales off of but we're assuming it's going to be attack since she is a bow user right it wouldn't make sense for her to be a bow user and they not i don't know i feel like She's going to scale off of attack. So you could just go like all attack percents with four piece retracing bow lead and you should be fine. Um, as far as, you know, her build. Now, obviously, if you wanted to go like cryo damage on the cup, that's perfectly fine as well. Uh, I don't really see that many other builds that would be cr super crazy for her. I don't know though. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.